Hello, hello everybody, this is Mr. MMW and I'm coming back to you with yet another video for in the Pacific. This time it is the game against Lodric and uh, as you may have seen, the combat replay. Things went pretty nicely for us. Let's go through things in order of their importance. First of all, let's do an overall review of the last turn. Now, having analyzed and done most of the setup uh, already, things are a bit worse than they have seemed just from the combat replay. First of all, we lost quite a bit more planes than uh, we ought to have, and some planes are unfortunately trapped, believe it or not. So uh, we will lose further more planes. Overall, obviously the losses are not nice, but uh, like half of these are just buffaloes, you know. And he got a little lucky with killing a bunch of P40Bs in the Philippines, mainly in Iba. Also some Catalinas in uh, Pearl Harbor. When we look at the pilots though, pretty much all of the losses are uh, the buffaloes, so I'm not that worried. And we do have one good American pilot. Good. Ships wise, this was quite nice. The Japanese lose one of the Gozan uh, class ships. Yeah. And uh, one tiny mine layer. Now we lose. First of all, if you sort this by where it sunk. Pretty much everything sunk that sunk was in Manila. So we lost pretty much everything in Manila. But besides Manila, we lost only two destroyers at Pearl Harbor. Which is very nice. Because he split up his forces and he sent one carrier here and he used a bunch of his planes to attack the airfield, we took very little damage. Take a look. Low number of damage, the planes are mostly fine, if you sort by type, take a look. Tons of fighters survived, Catalinas, yeah. Now the BBs, I have pretty much none, no ships, everything is in dock or in pier side, right, under repairs, and this is everything, this is everything. Of course, I'm using uh, my shipyard to the best of their abilities, but uh, I don't even think I will need to send these guys back to uh, the west coast, because look at the damage. We will simply not use them in time to uh, make use of that. And besides that, just a couple of cruisers got a little damage and they will be out of action for a month. Not a big issue. Besides that, not much. Here. Overall, uh, we're not doing much over here because, uh, as you may know, uh, it's a million subs that are over here. So, uh, all of our planes that can do have ASW set with these settings. I want to interdict these subs as much as possible. And I am also not sending any ships other than uh, ones that cannot or are hunting uh, subs in the area. Take a look also my uh, patrols. This is the beginning of a sea lane. As you, as I pointed out, I'm just sweeping right now, which with a couple of ASW forces. And in the near future, when I start delivering stuff, first of all to Pearl Harbor, I think I'm gonna unload a bunch of stuff to Pearl Harbor, and then ship a bunch of stuff all at once to Australia. We will see how this goes. But right now pretty much no ships are just uh, bumbling about without escorts when he has like 20 subs over here. Okay, I'm just not going to do that. So they're, they're just gonna sit in port. No losses for us. And same over here. We are only gonna transport stuff you know, that is very coastal and just to reorganize stuff to San Diego. And from there, uh, San Francisco sorry. That's my main port, 
and from there we will see. Oh yeah, and I'm sem sending some stuff to uh, El Paleska. We do have some stuff that needs to be moved there and we have no ships, so I'm sending just a little bit. Besides that, a bunch of our stuff has arrived. Take a look at what we have. San Francisco, a ton of aircraft, most of which is training aircraft. Right now they're all doing the same as in Pearl Harbor, they're all doing ASW. Because we know they have uh, submarines of the of the west coast, so we want to intercept them. Besides that, my organizational uh, brain says that uh, San Diego is the Air Fleet West headquarters, so I'm just gonna use them here. Pretty much everything else is in San Francisco. Tacoma will be the main uh, training base for all army units, restricted ones, and that is pretty much it for the west coast. In Alaska, of course, I'm gonna pursue this plan, but this takes time. Pretty much no convoys are at sea in the entire Pacific, only a couple, the one that started near uh, Canton, here it is, it's going to Numea. Not much to report on there. I'm sending a couple of ships to uh, supply these bases in the near future. And as you can see, a bunch of these ships, tons all over the place. This is very nice to see on the second turn. They're mainly coming from Melbourne and stuff to... Me Most of my cargo uh, ships are going to Brisbane, since this will be the logistical hub. And my transport ships and my destroyers and such are going to Numea for my fleet. Based actions, I'm also sending 50 or so thousand supply to Numea from Australia. This is 40,000. This is 60,000, so about 100,000 I'm sending, yeah. And I'm also sending, I forget what it is. Oh, even some more, okay. And all of these tankers, these guys need... I'm gonna reorganize them uh, to Numea because they have no escorts. And then I'm gonna send them on a pretty wide path directly to America because they have no business sitting here. And I have like 20,000 supply going to Port Moresby. We will see if they, they make it. Yeah. If not, I'm gonna full speed them. Uh, I'm gonna make them haul ass back. My decision on Port Moresby has been to try to defend it, but not commit too much to it. Very simply put, uh, in one week time, you will simply have both surface forces and perhaps avi Aviation 2 and submarines here. So honestly, uh, considering what I have, which is not much, I have transferred as much as I can. These are pretty much all the aircraft in Australia <laughs> and some are on the rails but still and I'm transporting pretty much everything in Australia to Townsville to help with this. <sighs> Unfortunately I do not think we will make it in time because we simply have no transports for example for troops. Not that we even have troops that are unlockable right we would have to pay PP and I'm gonna show you very soon what I did with all the PP. So there you go. I also do not want to, uh, my ships to be caught here. There you go. This uh, brave loan transport that I do have are going to pick up the Rabal base. And the Lark Battalion is of course being picked up by my, uh, my uh, float patrols. Some subs, you can see how I have deployed them. They're not in position yet, so... Uh, takes time over here this will be a pretty good test of uh, my uh, my uh, arrow formation of course I don't have enough subs to realistically do anything but uh, let's see who knows and you can see also over here we successfully intercepted it 
one tanker group, but unfortunately we did not score a kill. And same for over here. Intel wise, not that much really. Here, here is uh, our trapped groups. Let's talk about the Philippines now. In Manila, pretty much everything got damaged or destroyed. A bunch of them I scuttled myself. This is all that uh, there remains here. Uh, I'm not gonna be able to get it out and I presume they will sink. Besides that, here you go, here's our PT boats. They're going to Iba to perhaps do something. These guys are going uh, full speed now to Tarakan. Who knows? Maybe they'll make it, more than likely not. One good uh, sub is going over here to intercept this task force. This is probably the air flotilla being transported to Double Dob, so I'm hoping to bother them. And the, a bunch of ba uh, damaged subs that I do not think will make it. But, but since I have them here anyway, and perhaps they can get a, a couple of hexes of movement, uh, I'm going to use them to mine Iba. Will I be able to do this? I do not know. I mean, I'm, I will be able, but will I make it back? Sure. Probably not. Although I bought the B-17s from uh, Davao, they are currently in survival. They have also landed here. Presumably this is a CV. Uh, I do not know. Just I, I personally I do not understand why Lodric li uh, likes using CVs in the same hex as his task forces, especially when we have nothing to combat him. Perhaps he simply does not know, which is great for us. We know exactly where he is. Here is what my Air Force in the Philippines will do. Pretty much everybody except these guys will be on cap duty. But everybody else will be on naval attack. Including the fighters. Everybody will die eventually. Sooner or later. But they are gonna die fighting. They will do so. I'm also moving some stuff on the rails. Perhaps to avoid some damage. Here and there, and uh, some stuff will need to be bought out soon enough. Unfortunately, a lot of my B-17, you can see them all here. Take a look. Yeah, I moved them on the rail, so next time they will appear in Manila. But hopefully they'll be repaired by then. Okay. Pretty much not, not much else here. He has successfully been done... Uh, the smart move, which I do not see many Japanese players do for some reason, which is landing at Lingayan. This is the place where you want to land. Why? Because it has a good airfield. It can, anyway. It has a natural one port. It has good terrain to advance and it is one hex away. Also good road into Clark. And as you can have seen from my uh, single player series, I have captured Clark Field quite easily against the AI. I doubt it will be quite as easy against me though. Especially since, for example, here I have this Philippine division. You might ask yourself, why am I not mu mo moving them? Well, because I don't want them to move. Once he kicks them out, which will be next turn, he's going to start moving. At which point I'm going to threaten him with an encirclement. So what will he do? Perhaps he expect, expects me to do something like this or perhaps reinforce them. But I will not. I will simply stay here, threaten to go in here, but then cancel my move. Mm, I know, very smart. That is of course unless he immediately lands over here. One move that is pretty smart, although questionable, is landing at Iba. Iba is not good terrain. Iba 
uh, has a natural zero port so you receive exactly zero uh, bonuses from having uh, naval support here so you, he cannot unload very fast here and supposedly he has a ton of stuff here which is expected right hmm but this is quite interesting so he did kill some planes how many actually he huh zero am i dumb actually here's a, another thing i can do i forgot to do this we can just put these guys into the reserve thank you very much we cannot disband them we cannot move them ah yes because i already moved them did i i'm dumb where are you yes they are them i did not realize they were part of the same group so you took four losses okay that's not a lot of losses that is actually <laughs> quite little but of course we will take quite a bit of losses from these guys and excuse, excuse me by the way if i sound sleepy this is a uh, very late at night for, for me in the uh, in malaya he did a very surprising move of moving to Kuantan. Some of our aircraft are stuck here, so we'll lose them, unfortunately. Eh, not that great aircraft. And he, for some reason, committed all his strikes to Alostar in, instead of Georgetown or Singapore. So we saved quite a bit of aircraft. Not that, not that they will really be saved. Most of them will die. Yes, they, yeah, 100%. I'm escort putting them on escort right now, guys. Whatever. Yeah. There you go. Uh, and I'm moving all of the builder beasts. What are you doing? Panambang Singapore. I guess they're waiting for their uh, mates. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, he has tons of fighters here and tons of bombers. And he will uh, escort these guys. There is no chance I have of sitting these guys here. I'm going to move them all to Palembang. And guess what I'm go also going to do? I'm loading some uh, refugees from Singapore. Mainly the 224 Air Group, which will be the Air Air HQ and the Little Brigade. They're going to Palembang. Even if they get sunk, which I expect them to, I very fully expect them to go here and simply intercept me. Hopefully, I will be able to unload at least some of them so that I have torpedoes here where I can start using my wild wildebeests. These are again from Singapore. They, I'm using this this base because it is first of all outside of the bombing range from Sing, uh, Saigon and of course outside of fighter cover so I can use them indiscriminately over here I am also by the way moving the Hermes it has arrived here last turn and I have moved these swordfish that were on her to here and they will next turn go to Panamak I'm moving her back to pick up these guys. They will do the exact same thing. And by the end, I'm hoping to have like 50 or so sort uh, torpedo planes here, which perhaps may actually threaten an invasion of uh, Bavia or something. Because very simply put, the Dutch, British or any other bombers over here, these guys are not gonna threaten anything. Take a look at them. Pathetic. Pathetic. They will not threaten anything and if Lodrick knows his uh, stuff, he will simply push, push through and knock me over. I cannot hold anywhere in here except perhaps Palembang, which we'll see about that. But if, if he is smart, he will simply push. This, uh, as far as I'm aware, is the best I can possibly do to counteract that push. Do a little counter-strike of my own. And because I had uh, 
I was allowed to move the 4Z from Singapore. Take a look at where it is. Hello, hello. Now here's my plan with it. They're going to go to uh, Tarakan to, uh, to join these guys. And then there are, most of them are going to go to sweep Bubble Dob. Hopefully by that, the time they get here, these guys will be coming back to rearm, refuel and stuff. Perhaps, and they're going southwest. Southwest. Yeah, that's not exactly possible. They're going to Belay Belay. Okay. Interesting. Ah, no. Uh, moving southwest meant that they came from here, right? Don't forget that. But whatever. They're going to, uh, to go back to rearm and refuel and resize and do a, upgrade planes and everything. Because the region needs that. And I am not very afraid of them. In any case, these guys are going here because they cannot make it in one turn. They have little fuel. They're gonna refuel here. Do not be deceived by these six. They're not actually moving at six speed. They're moving at eight speed. But because they have used ops points, they can only move at eight, uh, six speed. So there you go. Uh, technically, we are detected, but hopefully just says... Uh, there are a bunch of shitty ships here. And he doesn't believe. Let's hope. Let's hope that he, uh, Lodric th thinks I just escaped through here to, uh, with these guys. Maybe he thinks I'm a pussy. Let's see how that works for him. But together all these guys will be able to push aside any, any task force that comes in their way. And they hopefully will wreck a bunch of... Invasion convoys, that's the idea. And then they're gonna haul ass out of here as fast as possible be before his carriers arrive. So that we may escape untouched. That's the idea. I'm not sending these guys to their death, but if they die, it will be a worthy sacrifice. Let's put it this way. Safety in numbers, boys. It is better to have them all die at once. Then uh, uh, it is better to have them all die at once, doing something worthwhile, than have them die piecemeal due to carrier raids on uh, bases, you know? I could very well do f a full speed and get the fuck out of here and go to uh, Colombo, but what is that going to achieve? Once he captures Singapore, he will be able to simply operate his carriers and strike me mercilessly. In Colombo. I do not want to be. I do want, not want to even give him the chance. To make it there. Therefore I am. Hoping to delay him here as much as possible. Uh, in that idea. I'm sending. Where are they? These boys. They are the 18th division. They usually go to Colombo. But. Uh, they are not going to. They are going to go to Bakurkin. Bakur... Exactly. And from here they are going to march. It's going to take like... Actually pretty good roads. Let's see. Well, yeah, about a week. And do not forget this is swamp. So, and it has infinite supply because of the refinery. Perhaps I should turn it on. Nah, not yet. When I get below 1,000, 10,000. So yeah, I can build forts endlessly. Perfect base, all things considered. That's also why I'm trying to evacuate some stuff. I'm not going to be able to evacuate everything from uh, Singapore. Because uh, I think it's suicide to send, for example, these tankers. I do want to actually save these guys. Because uh, tankers are very, very precious. So are, uh, the, for example, this Dominion Monarch. I do not want to lose her simply for the points and the moral victory from uh, saving her. So uh, I'm not going to... Also some cargo ships, but... I do not know. Maybe I'll use them in an um, emergency. And after he has to refuel. We will see. 
<sighs> they may be sitting ducks, but I don't want to risk it. Same here. I am 100% certain that he will come he uh, through here with every single one of his surface combat task forces. And he will sweep and sweep. But because I have all my ships in port, he's not gonna find anything. And only after he leaves, I'm gonna leave. These are my subs. Tom stuff is leaving, actually. Ah, uh, these guys are going to Tarkan. I'm mining some stuff, some bases. Um, uh, these high value ships are cadoodling out of here at full speed. So, there you go. I am gonna mine uh, Ambon. Oh, yeah, by the way, uh, the Lark Battalion, Gold Battalion, I mean, I'm getting a message. Never mind. The, the the reinforcements from uh, Darwin are arriving next turn, so hopefully that will bolster their defenses. I only have a little uh, uh, recon here. The only strike aircraft I have are these 12 Hudsons, but eh, they're not gonna do anything. My stuff in Java is still assembling and of course they're not gonna be able to do anything for quite a while. I'm using them only for uh, ASW right now. Because, by God, take a look at these skills. Uh, yeesh. They have decent experience, but... They're good at level bombing, which is... I do not need that. They are level bombers, after all, you know. I can't blame them too much, but... Uh, there you go. Yeah. And I'm mining Sinkawang, hopefully... Uh, that will delay him if even for a day, okay. And in uh, Malaya, on the ground, I'm moving pretty much everything to Singapore. I debated uh, holding in Tamulo because of the good rain, but uh, I think I need to give my forces a little rest if they want to survive at all. He, Although he landed very light in the north. Which is uh, surprising, weird too, because the, uh, if you take a look at the road map, take a look at these roads. It's gonna go here and then here and then uh, these low roads are horrible. It is much better to go on the western side of uh, Malaya. But he made his pick and he's landing here with 7 units but only 3000 men. Which, if you know what this means, this means that uh, they are only air support. And 109 fighters, so they are without service, right? So he, uh, and he used them for two days. He used his fighters for two days, without rest, without enough support, and on a level 2 base. These guys are not going to be very active next turn, and in the following turns, right? So, and he does not have many forces here. So, these guys, I'm going to be sending he them to displace them from Singora. The AI actually did this to me, as you may have seen my single player campaign, because I got careless. Overall, I just want to inconvenience him, and uh, I'm still on the rail line. So, once we capture this place, I'm just gonna pack up and go to Singapore. If he has to... If he overreacts and sends, uh, diverts some stuff from here to here, I'm even more glad. Oh, and if anything, if he in intends to uh, send the uh, 15th army to Singapore, he won't have, he will have to unload here or here instead of here. So that will also buy us a bit of time. I'm also sending these guys, for example, to block the railroad. There you go. In uh, Burma, I bought up all the H81s and I'm doing cap because he can attack Burma by now. I also replaced their leaders, this is where all my points went. Also got some better fighters, fighter pilots. Yeah, I'm not terribly impressed by them, but they are the best we got. 
And uh, of course, as I said earlier, I'm gonna make Mandalay a secondary base so that if they get damaged, I'm just gonna move them north. And also a bunch of ships are reorganized in the Indian Ocean, you know. All the actually valuable ships are heading the F out of here. Not these guys. These guys, for example, are supply. Yeah. Decent amount of supply. I guess. Honestly, we are we are actually going to be able to get a pretty good amount of supply in Burma. Fuel, I'm not... Honestly, I was debating, should I load fuel on my uh, cargo ships to, lo to give to Burma? Because it will power the Chinese industry. Which of course can never have enough fuel, right? But there is a problem with that. Of course, of course there is. That uh, first of all we produce here, but it will not be enough. But because of the, you can only load half of the capacity in fuel, and fuel converts on the on a one to two ratio. I'm pretty sure it just cancels out. So I'm just gonna transport supply just to be sure. Yeah, and some stuff going here. I'm only going to be using Calcutta and uh, Colombo as temporary na naval bases after he takes Singapore and he starts using his carriers in here. I'm simply going to evacuate these bases out of everything except the most basic necessities. They are going to have... They are essentially going to be treated as Rangoonies currently. A frontline base that will receive supply and fighters and stuff such but will not be uh, bases for heavy cruisers and such and honestly i don't even know what i will do with these guys like if we are, we are being realistic Loderick will never use his uh, surface forces without coordinating with his carriers like that that's just stupid right we will in other words we will never be able to get the chance to use them in a surface combat action so other than uh, perhaps AA, pl uh, AA platforms they are not going to be very useful although I uh, yeah who knows maybe future me will know better how to employ them the current me is not going to of course, we are developing these bases, right? Calcutta, a bunch of stuff is going here and the resting and training. These guys have bad morale. As you can see, Jesus Christ. Pretty much everything in Burma is resting and they're going to Rangoon. Of course, after they rest a little and get a little more morale and the reform, we are going to Staten Bridge to sit there on a rest. Yeah, the logistics are going. Again, I sent pretty much all the valuable ships that are good at uh, convoying to the bases where they need to. And all the shitty ships are on the map doing on-map supply. Because I do not mind losing them. What else is there over here? I think I covered pretty much everything. Let's go to Australia. Yeah, actually I covered Australia already. The Kiwis are going to continue getting neglected. Now, on to more bigger fish to fry. China. For example, here we are uh, advancing on Nanchang. You can see this very nice. We'll see if we manage to catch them off guard. I presume we will. We are also advancing on Fu Chao with two divisions over here on um, uh, Chao Chao. Chao, what? Yeah, Chao Chao with one and uh, another one supporting. And I'm moving a bunch of stuff to uh, Kukong. This rail line is an absolute wonder of engineering. 
it take it will take a bit uh, like a week to get assembled here and uh, unloaded and such but afterwards we are gonna have like 1000 av to go into canton it is urban heavy terrain but uh, so what uh, what will he do will he attack me in urban heavy terrain i do not think so and if he goes here or here or here right this may be my intention actually to essentially lure him into a battle outside of canton in these clear trains whoop his ass and then uh, continue perhaps cutting a uh, canton off recapturing hong kong maybe i don't know and perhaps even capturing canton i do not really think i will be able to capture canton but if we can inconvenience him that will be more than enough for me and if we can pull some forces off of the philippines that's even better now we just uh, a hong kong i did a bit of a troll move because uh, for some reason Lodrick did not advance on hong kong weird move so i moved out of course we will uh, get our asses kicked but uh, hey uh, be unpredictable sometimes you never know what you might uh, find out. So there you go. You are going the right direction, right? Yeah. There you go. So we are, uh, they're gonna kick our ass. We're going to fall back into Hong Kong. But at least we delay him for a day. And in Hong Kong, because we have apparently a ton of supply and a ton of fuel. I decided to load all of these ships that I couldn't move with fuel and uh, force uh, them to go to Cancho 1. Maybe then unload a little bit and from there uh, into the Chinese network. Or if they simply get sunk, uh, Salavi, they're not gonna, they are 100% not going to, through this gap. These uh, G3Ms are death, certain death for these guys. Now where are, uh, where are my heroes? Here they are. These are the survivors from Hong Kong. They got into a gun battle with the Atago and such. And they received 20 centimeter guns. Gun hits. But because these, these are Giga Chads. Uh, they survived. And uh, not only that. They are going to actually live. Because I'm refueling them. and uh, sending them back to Surabaya. And I'm actually going to save them. They have proven their worth. So they get to live. There you go. Other people have not yet proven their worth. And time will decide if they do get to leave. What else? It uh, remains also to be seen, of course, if he will advance of, on uh, Mulmain soon or not. Because this, of course, matters quite a lot. If he doesn't, and he sends the 15th army south, we have also, by the way, not seen the 33rd uh, division of the Philippines, which is a pretty good sign that it may have perhaps gone to Bangkok, or at least uh, Saigon. And we haven't seen it here either, so... Uh, simply going by that fact, that it's not here or here, it's probably here, right? Meaning that he is probably going from uh, for Mulmain. That's what I'm thinking anyway. Reminder that uh, the 33rd division starts in uh, Nagasaki, and he can fast move the move it. Uh, perhaps he's. Uh, I'm gonna presume he knows he knows how to uh, uh, merge them into a fast moving task force, right? Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. But uh, I'm presuming he just moved them to Hong Kong. We will discover soon anyway. Actually, how many hex is this? Eight. Yeah. Eight. I don't have the range to actually scout to here. Unfortunate. I would love to scout this base, but... Uh, these guys only have a range of eight. So I cannot scout with them soon enough. Anyway, 
Anything else in China? That I wanted to mention. Oh yeah, in the north I'm... Uh, everything is going near Xi'an. I'm defending these two bases. This one because it has a river. This one because it's, it's a good tile. And they're both in a command range. I'm also resting some troops. Also some troops are gaining experience. For example these guys. Nah, no, no, not these guys actually. Where are they? Ah yeah, these guys. <laughs> I would normally use them and merge them into a single division, but they are uh, they have 30 morale and 30 experience and they have 100 preparation, so they will start gaining experience every turn and when they reach uh, 50, I will be reassigning them to uh, guild work. I'm also pulling some stuff into Wenkao. You can see I'm moving supply. Yeah, everything is alright over here. Perhaps I should expand this. Yeah, yeah, I should. Mm -hmm. and I'm also, am I, yes, I'm also pulling uh, supply into here. And over here, same. I pulled all the supply, you can see, both in here and in here, so... We have 50,000 supply in here. Good work. Everything is moving, of course, to Clark. Except the aircraft. I'm gonna have them work out of Manila for one more day. Actually, should I even move? Uh, where is it? Not this one. Not this one. Is it this one? Uh, aviation support. I'm actually gonna cancel these guys so that uh, these boys can get some maintenance. They they are uh, they they aren't that many, and the uh, HQ is right next to them, right? They do have 100 torpedoes. Okay. Hopefully these Catalinas can... Uh, where are they? 13 Catalinas with torpedoes. And I... Oh yeah, I also... I think I also replaced their leader. So uh, I put the best uh, allied leader in the game on them. So that hopefully they can do some good work. Uh, and they are decently... Oh. Nah, never mind. Actually, can I? I, I you know, I'm, uh, I might want to do a funny here. Watch me do a funny. Here is the Saratoga, for example. They have torpedo bombers. Watch me do a funny. Guess who's going into the reserve, boys? Thank you very much, and... Uh, the Catalinas. Well, hey, look at that. That is quite nice. Let's see. Actually, can I do just to the group? Okay. That's good. And uh, from the reserve to... Ah, yeah. No, I cannot. <laughs> yeah. I, I'm gonna transfer all of these guys. And then these bomber pilots. Hello? Do I have to manually send them? I guess, uh, oh, it's already maxed, okay. So there you go, we just got some torpedo bomber pilots in here. Very nice work, very nice work. And they on are only on max range of 8, so that we can intercept 
task force is up to here and no more because I do not want to be caught in a shitty cap. We'll see. Poor target selection has been my menace uh, for quite a while, unfortunately. And if he does have uh, tons of cap, first of all, that would be good because uh, he has to choose. He only has two fighter uh, squads here. He either puts long range cap on, on his ships or he sweeps. And if he doesn't sweep, his bombers are gonna get shredded by these guys. And if he doesn't cap, his ships are gonna get shredded. So he has to choose. Uh, so basically he's screwed either way. Although in the long run, of course, we are too. Because it does uh, one more strike and this airfield will be unusable, unfortunately. I am building forts everywhere, yeah? Yeah. Of course, remember over here not to move these two units. Where are they? Yeah, remember not to move these two units because these guys are uh, special. They are a bit special. Semi the Manila Bay forces. Take a look. Did they upgrade? Manila Bay defenses. Let's see. If you look at the ops, this is yeah. Of course, I received a bunch of stuff. Manila, of course, there is no control F here, so uh, we're just gonna have to squint our eyes. And yeah, go uh, upgraded. And some replacements. He also took some replacements in the Philippines, that's okay. That's cool. Ah yes, and a bunch of stuff right at uh, San Francisco. But where are they? Hmm. Perhaps this is a good occasion to look. If you see something special, let me know. This is a bit more of a chill experience than the usual chaos that you get. But planning is important, of course. Yeah, tons. Of, these are all uh, the. Yeah. Because I moved practically all of the American Air Forces into there. There you go. That's what you get. The Medan has upgraded. Okay. I'm gonna take a look at Medan in a bit. Mm -hmm. So I think I might be blind. Or these guys did not upgrade. Oops. Because... Uh, yeah, let's take a look again. Yeah, of course they... Uh, of course I'm blind. Take a look. So, uh, these guys take a look at these numbers. And of course, you upgrade. They get more. They get different guns here too. Yeah, they did not upgrade. But I do want them to upgrade. Because they get more stuff. And more stuff. Especially these big constal guns. They have a ton of armor. And the Japanese shitty... Uh, squads do not and they do not have the pen I also put some good leaders on them take a look and these guys will hold for as long as I they can and it, in Medan they apparently coastal guns oh yeah, yeah, yeah take a look take a look they upgraded what did they upgrade Oh yeah, I think these guys had like two 120mm guns and they upgraded to 150mm guns and in the next turns they will actually fill them in. Perhaps. That is also good because it frees up 12 inch coastal guns to be put into not these ones. Perhaps this one. 
I know some of these had the 120 millimeter guns. Some of these guys. Artillery commando? No. Ah, sucks, suck. Okay. But whatever. This is what's gonna happen. This is pretty much everything that I remember right now. Oh yeah, one. <laughs> Of course, I forget about my carriers. <laughs> uh, they are both coalescing and going to uh, Palmyra. From there, they're uh, here, there. Yeah, they're not even full speed. Okay. They're going to Palmyra from there. They're going to Pearl Harbor. And from there, Potentially to the north. We will see. But anyway. I think that's enough of me rambling. Thank you for watching. I see you next time.